No, it didn't. <laughs> Throw it away, Carl. It's very dirty. Don't bring it to me. Gee, this is so dirty. Take it away. Ram Ram Dosto. Whenever I tell people my sasural is hasi, they always say to me, oh, no, no, no. You mean chasi. Today, we are going to change that. Hasi and Chasi are two different places. Let me show you around. Welcome to Hasi, Haryana, a town of around 100,000 people. It's 550 kilometers from Chasi, which is in a totally different state in India. And this is where I live part of the year because this is where my wife's father's side of the family is from. It's a beautiful place and it's famous for sweets and architecture, like Bharasi Gate and like the huge Hasi fort. In this video, I'll show you the flavors and sights of Hasi and then I'll take you to our family's farm so you can see how Haryanvis live close to nature, in their fields and with their cattle. But first, let's start with the famous sweets of Hasi. This is my favorite street in all of Hasi. This is Halwai, Wali, Gali, and this is the street where people make sweets. And this place is famous for one thing. It's very famous for pera. And I'm gonna show you exactly how pera is made at the most famous store here in Halwai Wali Gali. And now here we are. This is the oldest and most famous pera store here in Hasi. This is Doni Chan Chavil Das Pera Dukan. This pera is so pure, and this was actually the first time I was ever eating pera. I've heard so much about it, but I never had it. First time here in Hasi, and it tastes like milk cake, except extremely pure. They don't burn it at all. That's why they're mixing it so much, so it doesn't burn. This is just pure milk with a tiny bit of sugar. It's not sweet. It's like, if you love milk, you will love pera. Haryana and New Zealand, where I'm from, are the same in that regards. We live of milk and yeah, we're just, we're milk eaters, milk producers. And so these guys, they turn this milk with some sugar into this yummy pater, this beautiful pater. There's a lot of different sweets available here too, not just pater, we have bundi, this is very famous. It's like small little deep fried sugar balls basically. Then we have ladus, we have, this is the type of tosha, it's made of gur, of unrefined sugar. Gee, yeah, kya hai? Besan. Oh, thank you. He's given one. He's given one for Arun on the camera as well. So sweet of him. Mmm, it's epic. Look at this. It looks like um, it looks like carrot, but this is besan. New Zealand. New Zealand. Ah, ye mera sasural hai. And so people here, they speak. The mother tongue is Haryanvi, and Hindi as well. English isn't spoken too much here, so you need to know a little bit of Hindi if you're traveling around here. The next stop before I show you one of our family farms is Asigar Fort, one of India's most impenetrable forts, and you can see why. It's known as the Fort of Swords, or Swords as it's pronounced here in India, because it was known for the swords that used to be produced here. These swords, they would be exported as far as the Middle East. We're here at Asigar Fort now. This is a huge fort and it is kind of the top of the city. We're standing on top of Hasi right now. And if you come here, you can get a view, a 360 view across the entire city. And there's people here playing cricket. Here we have a temple and a dargah. And yeah, people are just all here, just, just enjoying the fort. It's a cool place to visit. You are alone? No, no, no. Meri biwi ghar pe hai. And this is my friend Arun. We are going to make a video about the Hasi. We are going to make a YouTube channel. Yes, yes, there is a YouTube channel. What is your ID on YouTube? My ID is Carl Rock. Carl Rock. K-A-R-L-R-O-C-K. Carl Rock. That's right. Do you speak English? No. Do you speak English in school? Yes, I speak English in English medium school. Okay, in English medium school. So, how are you? How are you? Come back to your English. You say, I am fine. I am fine. Say it. It's Saturday, so they got no school. Okay, chalo. Nice to meet you guys. Up to milk, good. Okay, I'm going to up to milk. Good. Thank you. Bye. 
Manu, just like tell us, what was it like growing up here in Hasi? So I've spent a lot of time in my dad's village and I used to come here and the best part was going to the dikki with my cousins and spotting fishes in the water there. Going to what? The diggy. Come, I'll show you. Diggy? Yeah. Diggy? What's a diggy? I'll show you. Okay, chalo. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. I don't know what a diggy is. Let's go find out what a diggy is. So, we just arrived at Tux's house because we're gonna pick up his, his papa and his papa's gonna take us to the local diggy. But I just wanna show you guys a Haryanvi house, a typical house here in Haryana. People will have this. Tux, ye kya hai? They dry the buffalo's poo and they use this as a fuel to cook food on in what's called a chula. Just a very simple like brick oven. Ram Ram, Kiale. And here we have all the buffalo at this house. They have a lot of buffalo here. Ye kon hai? Touch. Gai. Gai hai. Ye bass hai. Bass. Ye bohut sunda bass hai. Kaise bolti hai? Gai kaise bolti hai? Gai kaise bolti hai, Takshu? Moo. Moo. Oh, baby bass. Wow. Don't you just love the babies, Manu? Look at these two. Look at these two cuties. Oh. Hello, Bess. Taxi Bess. Oh, you're scared of the Bess. Don't be scared of Bess. Bess loves you, huh? Touch, pet the Bess. Good. So this is a water buffalo. Guy nee Bess eh, bhai. He guys licking his foot. So this is a water buffalo, the black one, and the white one down here is guy, which he's saying cow, cow. And so people here in Haryana, they're very self-sufficient. Everything they need for eating will come from here. And I don't mean meat, I mean, um, I mean yogurt, I mean milk, which they'll make into yogurt, which they'll make into butter as well they can sustain life from here. So yeah, that's why buffalo and guy and these animals are so important in Haryana and all over India as well. Hey, you're licking, hey, eating. Hey, hey, don't eat my gorda, yaar. I love you, but don't eat my gorda. Hey, boa! <laughs> uh, but we found Boa. We found Boa and Mama. They were in the fields. <laughs> Boa, Boa. Boa, again, again. We're gonna go and check out the farm right now. Let me show you a very typical Haryanvi farm. And Manu, you can tell us about farmers. Come. Dosto, yeah, this is pure Indian living, man. You saw them taking the milk from the buffalo. Now you're going to see our food comes from this cage right next to the house. This is how people eat. And Manu, like what crops are here? So there's chane. These are onions. And at the back there's garlic. Uh -huh. Aja. <laughs> He's eating it. This is little Taksh. He can't talk, but he already knows what he can and can't eat on the farm. Here he's eating leaves from the chickpea plant and then cutely handing some to Arun, who's holding the camera. This is what it's like to grow up on a farm in Haryana. Oh, look at that. The potatoes just come out of the ground, just like that. We're gonna take some. Just picking this aloo from the ground and this is going to go into our aloo paratha tonight. Tell us about farmers, Manu. Tell, tell us how important farmers are here in Haryana. So India is basically a country of farmers. 
a majority of the people are either directly or indirectly employed by this agricultural sector and the ones that are not are somehow related to one farmer in that they know someone in their family who is into farming so that's how important it is for us and what would you say about growing up like this where you're eating from the land you're drinking from the buffalo like yeah. how does that compare to other places in the world that's why i love coming back to my village all the time this is what i enjoy making everything from scratch and being self-reliant and the best part is nothing goes to waste if there's leftover food it'll go to the animals if there's leftover clothes, it'll go to the younger ones. Never, like they never waste a single thing. This type of culture, we've kind of lost in New Zealand. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you guys are still living like this here throughout most of India. It's like one of my favorite things about India. Yeah, mine too. Manu, we got to your diggy, eh? Yeah. This is your diggy. This is what reminds me of my childhood. We, we used to come here, all of us, the cousins, and we used to spot fishes in here. Ah. Yeah, and we used to get so excited if we spotted a fish. Machli hai is funny, man. Yeah, there, there used to be. I don't know, I can't see right now. Did you do this? No, Did we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. You didn't swim? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't going to push you though. <laughs> eee, you're not supposed to touch it. Throw it away. Throw it away, Carl, it's very dirty. Don't bring it to me. <laughs> See, this is so dirty, take it away! <laughs> and these ladies are still here at the diggy and they're here having fun, they're feeding the fish. So yeah, the diggy provides fun for everybody still. So Dosto, I think you can see why I love being here in Haryana so much. You have the best of both worlds, na? You have the city life, but you also have this incredible village life too. So. Yeah, this is Haryana. I love Hansi, I love Haryana and Jehind.